Hey all, what's up? Today let's switch things up a bit and do some breakfast. Now I'm gonna sit here and tell you, or stand here and tell you, how to make your bagel breakfast sandwich. But I like my sandwiches in a number of ways and I'm gonna show you all of those ways. So let's first start by making some of our eggs. So I am making three bagel sandwiches. So I'm gonna use three eggs, one egg per sandwich. Then I'm just gonna add in a bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then just whisk this all up. Now I have a large non-stick pan here to which I'll add some butter. Make sure the edges are coated with the butter. And on the side here, I'm heating up some more butter to toast up my bagels. I have three kinds, urban cheese, pumpernickel and everything. You can use your favorite kinds or you can just go ham with your one favorite type of bagel. And when that is warmed through, add in your eggs. And if you guessed it, you're probably right. We're making a simple and plain omelet, delicious. And the method to make eggs for your bagel sandwich can be as simple as making an omelet. And I'll show you what to do next with this omelet. But then you can also go ahead and grab a silicone egg ring and make perfect cylindrical egg circles. And it just increases the amount of time it takes. Of course, you can get multiple egg rings, but you know what I mean. You can even make it in the oven. But I think this is the most time efficient way to really get lots of bagel sandwiches done. Because honestly, even though things are starting to go back to normal, we still don't have all day to make breakfast. This will save your time. And talking about time saving, did you hear that sizzle? Well, that's for all of our toppings. That's the bacon. It's looking beautiful with some nice red juicy tomatoes, avocados, lettuce. Try to get the best quality ingredients. Treat yourself with these special sandwiches. Now you can see the egg is starting to set and now I'll add in my cheese. So just add in three slices. And if you can picture it, that's great. But we're gonna cut the omelet into thirds after we folded it. That's why I have it kind of going down the length of the omelet, just like that. And in the meanwhile, my bagels are just toasting away. Getting back to the egg, grab a spatula and start folding it in half right down the middle there. And then the other side as well. So that's gonna be one, two, three. You can now take that out. And then cut this up into three equal squares. Now, as it turns out on my large pan, when I fold an omelet in a rectangle like this, three equal halves just make a perfect shape for fitting in a bagel. But depending on your pan, use your best judgment and you have a beautiful cheesy egg to easily fit in your breakfast sandwich. That's just convenient. And then when it comes to condiments, just use your favorite ones. I'm not gonna convince you which one tastes the best. You be the judge, because it's your sandwich. I'm gonna make the first one into a belt with some bacon, as you see here, nice and crisp. Some egg, cheese, we don't count the C, some lettuce, and of course, the tomato. Now, try to get some nice organic red tomatoes that are red inside and outside, and you'll have a beautiful bagel sandwich, just like this. Now, sometimes I just wanna have something super plain, and it's just great, the beauty is in the simplicity. There's moisture in the bacon, the egg, and the cheese and the bagel is nice, warm, toasted. And this just looks comforting to me and it's perfect. But if you're anything like me, there will be days where you just want everything. And this one is for you. I say, why limit yourself? Just get comfortable with one method and then go crazy with it. There are thousands of ways to make a beautiful bagel breakfast sandwich. And here are three of them. And on top of everything that went in the bell sandwich, I'm gonna add in some fresh avocado. If you have some guac handy, add in some guac. 
dip it with your favorite mayo if you want to have a breakfast or your favorite ketchup or hot sauce. But this should give you enough to just go out and make your own. So let me know what you are going to put in your breakfast bagel sandwich. For more videos just like this, be sure to hit subscribe, hit the bell icon and let me know if you want to see more creative and just sandbox type videos just like this. See ya.